six schools presented various models of renewable energy which exhibited their immense knowledge in the field. The Chito Senior High Technical School presented solar-powered electronic stove technology. The energy powers a fan to produce air over water, which produces a less dense fuel to generate gas. Representatives of the St. Paul's Senior High School in Denu presented a prototype on how to convert solar energy into electricity for efficient use, while Ola Senior High School showcased an enhanced LPG vaporization technology. The Angola Technical Institute and Harvard Technical Institute presented an energy management system for electrical appliances and enhancement of solar energy using lithium-ion battery respectively. The Angola Senior High School won the contact with its project which exhibited the development of dye-sensitized solar cells from zinc oxide and natural dyes. So our setup, we needed some ITO glass which is a conductive glass that would help conduct the currents generated from the, from the organic dye. So we have a redox system that facilitates the reshuffling of electrons through the dye, through the cell. So we have this as our cell and our setup here. And again, we have this setup that shows or helps us to manage our, the energy generated. So here we have a, a, a structure of a complex with uh, this serves as a control room for the complex where you are able to detect which power outlets are on and then you have switches around that can turn it off without actually having to go into the complex to turn off the out, turn off the sources that are working so the national integrated science coordinator of the science education unit ges headquarters emmanuel omani okwe was enthused by the level of knowledge exhibited by the contestants. Um, it's, I'm highly elated to see our students going through this kind of activity. This time they have the opportunity to directly bring on board the theories that they have learned in class into real life application. And if we continue to push them through this particular area, it will improve their level of presentation and communication as well as all the various little ideas that they have. This will help them to do more research. And then they, the results that they are going to bring in will equally help our country because as we make it large scale, we will now have people from um, industry coming in to tap in their ideas and then use that one to further develop our energy sector. The director of finance of Gui Power Authority, Jimai Mafaya, shed light on the future of the initiative. Um, we, has, we have seen the potential in our youth as far as renewable energy is concerned. That is why we are here supporting Energy Commission on this course. Well, it's not going to end here. We intend going the long haul in collaboration with the relevant parties to ensure that the youth come on board. Because we are looking more into the future. Yes, we've undertaken certain great milestones as far as our large 250 megawatt solar park is concerned and also the floating solar that we have which is new to the west africa sub region that we can pride ourselves with but we are also looking further into the future to ensure that our youth come on board and we believe that we have higher highs to attain and we want to be part of this to the end because of our added mandate by the, um, His Excellency the President. Angola Senior High School will represent the Volta region in the zonal competition, scheduled between 16th and 27th August 2021. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News, Ho.